All right, so we're down here, downtown Riverside. Uh, I shot a video down here a couple months ago. It was pretty bad. And every time we come down here, it gets worse. I mean, literally, things now, all the tents and people are literally connected, touching one another. Sid, first time down here, as we're working our way to Orange County today to pick up uh, some supplies, what do you think about what you're seeing right now? Wow, this is, this is an epidemic. This is very sad that we're watching this unfold here in the United States of America and the state of California, you know, a wealthy state, the golden state, and you're starting to, this is, you're starting to see this happening everywhere in cities across California. So as we were coming down here, we were passing homeless people all over the place uh, throughout the county, but we uh, made a stop here and I said, hey, let's go over here across the street and show Sid what's going on. And every time we come here, we're blown away with how many more homeless people there are. I mean, look, we've got a, a mattress. Somebody's probably sleeping right here. We got tents over here. There's people up around the block, people down over here off the other block. I mean, it's just endless. Uh, I mean, what's going on? This is so sad. Supposedly the richest state in the country uh, and people sleeping on sidewalks, people with mental disabilities, people with bad luck, people with, with drug issues. Uh, and, and America is just forgetting these people, and this is wrong. But this is, look, it's gonna get much worse. See, the, we got half of Americans, adult Americans, out of work, and they think that they're not gonna land up here in a tent because they believe, what, that they're gonna be saved? An unemployment check away from this happening to lots of families here. Right, an unemployment check away, a $600 bonus, a flat tire. Uh, there are people who don't have drug issues, that don't have mental disorders, who are going to land up in this situation because the economy in America is the worst we have ever seen it. We are beyond depressionary numbers, and there are so many people who don't know it yet, but they're going to land up in places like this. That's correct, Willie. All right. So now we're here in beautiful Laguna Beach, California, where there is multi-million dollar homes around this area. You see people out here right now not have a care in the world of what's going on. We just left Riverside. Yeah, we just uh, left Riverside, California, where you saw tent cities in every block of the corners down there. And many of these people will capitalize on what's going on. Uh, due to the fact that they're all multi-millionaires but if they're not awake to what's really happening and they're not prepared they can be in the same boat that those people in Riverside are in. What about the average consumer, the average American? Well, the average American uh, uh, that isn't awake and, and really know what's going on they need to wake up. They don't, they don't have the assets like these people here and you need to think like these people and capitalize when the time is right. Diversification. Diversification, buy your assets, stockpile cash. I agree with Sid 100%, and, and I think what he's really trying to say here, if he hasn't made it clear, is you need to be your own central bank. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. These people up in these hills, in these multi-million dollar homes, are wealthy for a reason. While the average consumer is out taking their stimulus check or the $600 bonuses and buying big screen TVs, going to the weed shop, uh, playing video games, getting uh, a membership to Netflix, and wasting their money every which way possible. These people right here, these people are savers. They know how to put money away and wait for the right time. And they know the biggest wealth transfer in the history of America is coming. And these people are their own central banks. These people have assets. They've got their debts paid down. Many of these people in these houses pay cash for these houses. No reason to finance. They are their own central bank. Uh, they pay cash, multi-millions of dollars in cash for these homes, and they carry very little debt for the most part. Now, will there be people up in these homes that get obliterated? Yes. But you know who's going to get really obliterated? The middle class, 
and the poor. The middle class has been absolutely annihilated at this point. But again, these people, if you think, you need to start thinking like these people. They got to the top of the mountain because of the way they think. They're not impatient like most people. That's why most people are, are poor. That's why most people have massive amounts of debt. These people wait for the deals. These people will capitalize on the deals in the stock market, in land prices, in commercial real estate, in housing. These people will capitalize on it. So if you can't do anything right now, do this. Get your debts paid off or get them paid down to a manageable uh, area where you can manage the debt. But if you're sitting acquiring more and more debt, as we know, this, this moratorium with the uh, rent is going to go uh, is going to end July 24th. As we know, $600 bonuses. That uh, whole thing is going to end July 31st. Right now, if you have the opportunity to put some money away, pay your debts down, get some gold, get some silver, stockpile cash. These people are stockpiling cash. They're stockpiling gold. They already have lots of land. Now they're going to buy a lot more. And they're going to buy a lot more houses, and hopefully, it's not going to be your house because millions of people are ready to lose their homes. We have five million people in forbearance. These people up here are licking their chops for the deals that are coming. You need to get prepared and think like these people are thinking. You know what I find amazing, JB, is that 95% of the people shopping here at Fashion Island aren't carrying a bag. You know, in this economy and the way things are going right now, this is getting very scary. Gone. 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 I'm really kind of shocked to see is what's going on here in Newport Beach, California, that uh, you're seeing stores like these chain stores being closed. And it's just a sign of the times. You know, you have an economic shutdown. You have an economy that needs to open back up to have jobs. Okay, and it, if it's this bad in Newport Beach. If it's this bad in Newport Beach right now, just think what it's going to be like in other cities. Another vacancy. Another one bites the bullet. Another one bites the bullet. Another one bites the bullet. So we're down here at uh, Fashion Island, Newport Beach, California. If you've never been here, it's a great place to come visit, grab something to eat. If you have to do a little shopping, uh, the shopping's incredible, but it is definitely uh, upper scale, uh, upper uh, higher end retail shopping for sure. And what I find interesting is this is uh, your, your higher end retail shopping. And I think Sid, Sid said earlier that 95% of the people here, maybe more, were not even carrying a shopping bag. They're just here walking around. And the last time I shot a video here was uh, probably about two months ago, three months ago. 
and every every store here was closed. It was a ghost town. Now the stores have reopened. Uh, people are all over the place, but guess what? Nobody's carrying bags. Sid, you would agree that when you, we walked past the stores, nobody was in the stores. I mean, 95% of the stores didn't even have uh, a, 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 a shopper in them. Yeah, that's true. It was very dead. And we haven't walked through the whole uh, area, but uh, there's definitely a handful of vacancies here. You would not have seen this a year or two ago. So uh, we counted probably five or six that we just shot a quick video of. There's probably more. Uh, so very interesting. But again, nobody in the stores, most people not carrying a bag, most people here just walking around, getting out, getting some fresh air, and a majority of people uh, just wanting to enjoy the uh, ocean breeze and get out. But I want to go over some really quick articles while we're here and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, this was, these are all articles on the hedge yesterday and this morning. Grossly oversupplied used class eight sales, big rig trucks. Volumes plunged 12% month over month. And this is because the economy sucks. Uh, people, uh, companies, uh, independent contractors are not buying used class eight big rigs. And so 12 uh, percent down month over month and as many of you already know the the sales of new class 8 trucks have just been demolished uh, low income households crushed by inflation shock and that's another article on the hedge you want to talk about inflation come down here and see what it costs to have lunch or dinner right Sid yeah we're not eating here we're gonna go to uh, Johnny's Pizza uh, and you know, earlier today we went to Charlotte Chicken, and even that was getting expensive. It's not that uh, the price is getting more expensive; the dollar is buying you less and less. And this is why it is imperative. Why I repeat: you must be protecting your wealth. You need to be buying gold and silver while that plastic or, or that that phony monopoly fiat currency is buying you something. Another article today: 80% of New York restaurants couldn't afford June rent. This is unbelievable. If this isn't a bellwether telling you what's happening coming out of New York. And what are the numbers here? How many of these places right now with nobody in them, the restaurants are dead. Sid, what would you say about Fashion Island? It's beautiful, but what, what's your interpretation? What, what, what do you see here? Oh, I see big trouble, big trouble. I see that with this economic shutdown that we got going on due to the infection that it's hurt a lot of business, and I don't see none of these retail and restaurants coming back. Yeah, I mean, again, the retailers are quiet. People are walking around, but they're just walking. The restaurants, not packed. Um, there's no massive surge. And even the parking lot out here, it's 79 degrees on this beautiful Monday, late afternoon, gorgeous. The parking lot is maybe 30% capacity. And this is after people have been cooped up in their homes. Uh, they're not even, not even really getting out. But when we see what's happening in, in, in New York, what do you think's happening out here? And when you see it happening in the luxury retail market, uh, it should be telling you something. Another, another article today that I, I found very interesting. Fleet sales to plunge 56% in June, pressuring US auto market further. Uh, we talked about this, uh, I think it was on yesterday's video, fleet sales, the depression taking place in the auto market. Guys, the retail apocalypse is alive and well. We're right here in Newport Beach, one of the wealthiest areas in the United States of America. We were in Corona Del Mar, more vacant buildings. We were in Laguna Beach, more vacant buildings. People out, people out of the beach, but how many people are really spending money right now? I think a lot of people are sitting back, a lot of people are tapped out, and people in these areas, they're not stupid, they're wealthy. A lot of these people in, the, in this area, the average house in Newport Beach is around, I think, a million six, give or take. Um, people are very cautious. I think they feel there's a lot of uncertainty. They don't know where this is all going. And we are watching the biggest melt up on Wall Street the world has ever seen. And there are people out there that know exactly what's going on. They're not shopping at Macy's today or Nordstrom's or Bloomingdale's or Saks. They're sitting back and they're gonna wait till the dust settles to see where this all plays out. These people are not stupid. And the wealthy people got wealthy for a reason because they don't blow their money. And so the wealthy people out here today are not spending money. Not to say that there isn't people out here buying Rolex watches uh, or Louis Vuitton uh, handbags. They are, okay? But they're not doing it like they used to. There's been a huge pullback and it is noticeable. Sid, any closing words? 
I just tell, telling people to keep preparing, um, prepare for the worst. We're seeing it here in a community like Newport Beach, Huntington, Laguna, where everything's This is being, almost eerie, right? I yeah. mean, it's almost scary. Um, when you everything's see the for lease, lot, everything's... Nobody's in the stores. For sale. Look at the parking lot, it's 30%. It's at 79 degrees, it's absolutely stunning out. This is eerie, it's almost ominous what is taking place, but a lot of people must know what we know because they're just walking around, they're not spending money, and I, I think that they know something is coming. Yeah, I, I mean, the average person here uh, isn't gonna be relying on a stimulus check. The average person here knows exactly something is wrong for the most part. And so I think there's a lot of caution uh, in the air right now with this community because uh, you know these people are a little bit more savvy and sophisticated when it comes to markets and when it comes to money. Now, if you go to the average shopping mall in America or the average consumer taking a stimulus check or the $600 bonus and going out buying big screen TV, uh, going out buying you know, you know something at Kohl's, we saw them waiting in line a few weeks ago when the stores broke. opened, then they're broke. Um, these are the people that will take advantage of the situation. They're going to take advantage of the home sales, the land sales, the farm sales, the car sales, and the stock market sale. Uh, not to say that there are not going to be people in Newport Beach that get you know, destroyed with this economy. It will take place. But the smart money is that 1%. And many of the 1% live in this area, and they know exactly what I'm talking about. Sitting on prime real estate. They're sitting on prime real estate and they're gonna own a lot more prime real estate. But how many of these stores right now cannot make their lease payment, their rent payments, uh, that are reliant on this 1% that aren't spending? They're just waiting for another bailout. Yep, and if that bailout doesn't show up, uh, there's gonna be very, very big trouble. If the next stimulus check doesn't show up to the average consumer, big trouble. But the average consumer has continued to buy over the years with money they don't have. And that's the difference between the 1% and the 99%, and it's gonna be the 99% that pay the price. Guys, make sure you come over to my Patreon channel. I'm gonna put a video out uh, uh, tonight or tomorrow. Uh, make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, share it, blast it all over social media, subscribe, thumbs up, and make sure you hit the bell notification down below. Even if you're subscribed, you will not get notified unless you hit that bell notification. Things are happening very, very fast. This is another bellwether, a warning sign of canary in the coal mine. The wealthy are not out shopping while the average consumer is blowing their stimulus money. Don't be the herd, don't be the masses.